Hi everyone, I'm Hannah Harris and in today's teaching tip for Violin Tutor Pro I'm going to tell you about five basics of Irish fiddle tunes that you should know, especially if you're new to the style. So number one, let's start with the framework. Most common tunes have two parts and these are referred to as the A part and the B part. Usually these are eight bar phrases which are repeated once each. So your typical tune layout would be A, A, B, B. I'll use the Kesh jig as my example. So here's the A part. And here's the B part. Now I'll play through the tune once so that you can hear the repeats. So you just heard a basic 32 bar tune. Of course, since there are more tunes than either you or I could count out there, this framework can vary and the tunes can be shorter or longer. However, the AABB format should get you through most of the um, beginning tunes. So number two, tune types. Irish tunes are either in duple meter or triple meter, which is also known as in two or in three. Um, duple meter tunes can include reels. So. You can also find hornpipes. There's also polkas. And then there's also set dances. Something like that. So triple meter tunes are jigs, like the Kesh jig, which you heard just a little while earlier, um, which are in 6-8. And then you also have slip jigs in 9-8 and slides in 12-8. On these, it's a little harder to tell the difference. So if you're trying to make the difference between 6-8 or 9-8, listen for the pulse or the downbeat. So if the tune mostly consists of triplets and you feel it in three, so one, two, three, one, two, three, then it's likely going to be a slip jig. So number three, tune style. Have you ever heard the same Irish tune played two completely different ways? This is because the different counties in Ireland actually have very distinct styles from one another. So a fiddler from the north, say in County Donegal, will use very different ornaments and stress different notes than a fiddler from the south, like in County Cork, which is where I am currently. As travel and communication has become easier in today's world, these regional styles have become less distinctive from one another, but they do still exist. Number four, it's really a lot easier to learn a tune by ear than by reading sheet music. The sheet music helps because it gives you the notes, but if you read the notes straight off the page and don't listen to other musicians, either live or recorded, then your playing is not going to have as authentic of a sound. Number five, the last tip I'm going to give you is more of a fun fact, which is that instrumental traditional Irish music is called a tune, while vocal traditional music is called a song. So you would say you played a fiddle tune as opposed to a fiddle song. So there are five things for you to know about Irish fiddle music, if you didn't know already. Uh, I hope this was helpful and that you enjoyed. Thanks for listening.